Welcome to the show Martinet Cuisine. What we aim to do here is show you simple Anglo-Indian, Goan and East Indian cuisines that you can make at home. Today our first dish that we're going to show you is pepper water. This dish is like a love child between a rasam and a soup. It's quick, it's simple and it's delicious and has multiple uses as a side dish. So here we have hing, turmeric powder, sliced garlic, red cashmere chilies, tamarind powder, you can use tamarind paste as well, salt, coriander leaves, curry leaves, and then for our paste we got cumin slash jeera, black peppercorns, and whole garlic. Okay, so to make our paste, what we're gonna do is use equal parts jeera, whole garlic, and black peppercorns. Now that we have our paste done, what I'm gonna do is heat up some oil, and once the oil is nice and hot, I'm gonna add in our red cashmere chilies, our sliced garlic, hang, curry leaves, and a little bit of turmeric. Okay, so in we go. Here we go, a little bit of chili, a little sliced garlic. No, that's not really coming out. There we go. Sliced garlic, turmeric, hang, and our curry leaves. I'm gonna stir this around for a little bit and let it come to a nice, even paste. So what we're really looking for here is for our garlic to be just like my brother, just a little bit browned on the outside. So turmeric nowadays has actually had an explosion in North America. People are drinking it for its health benefits in turmeric lattes, turmeric tea, turmeric milk. And it's actually one of the things that you can use for, for digestion, not indigestion. So you can use it as a drink by itself. You can use the pepper water, sorry, as a drink by itself afterwards to help aid digestion. Now that our garlic has reached the right color, what we're going to do is take our paste that we had re uh, used before and add it into the pot. Mine's a little bit watery because I added a little too much water when I blended it, but that's how it goes. So in it goes. I'm going to stir it around for a couple of seconds and let that come all together. So what we're looking for here is actually when we're frying this down is for the oil to separate. As you can see a little bit here, the paste is starting to dry up a little bit. It's going to come together nice and well. What we're going to do next is we're going to add a little bit of water. So what you want to do is add enough water to about half fill your pot. Now, if I don't cause this to explode, it should be good. What we're going to look for this after this is for it to come back up to a boil. And once we do that, we will be ready to add some tamarind and curry puffs at least. I'm sorry, I mean coriander leaves. So now that we have our pepper water up at a boil, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of salt to taste and some tamarind powder. If you have fresh tamarind, you can use about a one inch ball rolled up and thrown in there. Um, so let me go ahead and add the powder in here. This is gonna add a little bit of sourness to the dish and make it taste here. Give me a second here, let's stir it up. And then I'm just gonna see how much salt I need to add in. a little bit of salt in here. I'm going to give a quick stir in, let all those flavors come together and then of course I'll get us in another quick taste here to make sure that it is the right amount of salt. So finally to finish off our dish what we're going to do is add the last little bit of coriander leaves in there. If you have some fresh curry leaves you can also throw those in and finish off the dish like that. So, just while I'm doing a quick boil, throw that in, give it a little stir, and there you have it. A quick, simple, easy pep of water. So that's it for our first episode of Martinet Cuisine. If you would like, you can follow our channel below. And just remember, if I can cook this, you can cook this.